Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz. I talk about random skills that I'm learning, whether that be coding, which is what we're going to be talking today, or any miscellaneous projects I have going on. Um, so welcome. Today we're going to be talking about she codes. Now I've done a, a recent video on she codes basics is what they called it previously. So if we click coding workshops here, so you go to shecodes.io, when you scroll down, there is she codes basics, she codes plus, she codes responsive, and she codes react. So these were not here, the re responsive and react were not here when I started mine and basics wasn't really even called basics. It was just the, the only class they had. So I took the basics class back in December when I had some time off and I really enjoyed it. So I did the three week one. And so I'll link below the review of that course. Now I have signed up for the She Codes Plus, which you can see the prices down here. This was $749. I got this during the National Women's Day like sale. So I got mine for 540. There's also Black Friday is a good time to get these classes. Um, I would hold out um, if you're if you really want to save some cash. But um, overall, I mean the ninety nine dollars one, it's like you sh you should do that one. That's not too bad. But when you when we're talking about seven hundred dollars, like seven hundred and fifty dollars, like what, what? So I didn't even notice these were lower, or I didn't even think these were real or were alive yet. So anyway, I'm taking this one. I want to do a deep dive into She Codes Plus because this is we're now getting into advanced HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So you can kind of see what technologies you'll learn here, um, which is nice that they put this, this here so that you can kind of see like what the class is going to be about. So I'm going to be posting videos on the homework and each week and kind of do a more deep dive instead of an overview of what I did with the basics. So... Um, you can click here, go to workshops. I already paid for this one. I started it May 31st. I've done the first round of homework in the first week of classes. So let's just go to the workshop here and show you kind of like a sneak peek of what you get when you pay for this class. I always like seeing these kind of videos because I don't want to invest 700 bucks in a class if I can't see what I'm getting. So you can see right here, it says she codes plus week one. You can see I've completed all these lessons. So the first week is kind of a re review of the she codes basics, which I appreciated because I didn't, I, I mean, I took this a long time ago, so I could, could not remember a good chunk of it. So you can see we do a little HTML revision, CSS revision, and then you have your week one summary and homework, which I submitted. So let me go into the detail of the structure. So let's look at HTML revision. So you go in here and each little lesson has a learn, a challenge, and a solution. So the learn, you watch it, it's about 11 minutes or so. I copy these notes into my Notion. So if we go into Notion, you can see right here, you have the, the header and then some code. So what I did is I went down and I put the header and I put the code into Notion. That's the best way for me to learn because then I can search my notion, right? So I appreciate him putting notes in here. Then once you're done watching that video and you read the notes, you go to challenge and you watch the video. That's the challenge video. So it was recreating what this looks like was the challenge. And then you submit your file. Um, once you submit, it says your solution is submitted and you can move on to the third section, which is the solution. Here you watch the solution video and you can view the code. Um, I love the fact that there's challenges after each learning section because that is the best way for me to learn. Like, I don't want to be doing homework at the very end. I like to kind of work my way up to it. Thank God the homework for this one was very easy. It was like a project wireframe. It wasn't even code. So I saved this all for the weekend. So week one, I did this all on Sunday. It took me, I would say, they're pretty accurate on the five hours. It took me a good five to six hours to finish this. I, I was also going kind of slow and taking like a good amount of breaks. So um, don't get too scared by that. The homework took me less than like 10 minutes. So the first week's homework was easy, thank God, because I was tired. 
Um, week two, it looks like um, is about, it says UI development. No idea what that means. I don't even know what a code sandbox is. Um, fonts, that sounds kind of fun. Um, bootstrap. And then you have the week two homework. And then we have she codes plus week three. So this looks like it is JavaScript. So you can kind of see the names of here. I'm going to scroll slowly so you can kind of look. I don't want to read them all out. Week four, there's some more JavaScript functions. So some debugging, parameters, selectors, dates. Cool. Um, week five is API. I'm very excited about the API because I have no idea what that means. I heard it's like a bridge between two um, things that need to talk to each other, but that's all I know. And then week five, we have development workflow, which I have no idea what that means. Um, Git, GitHub, I'd already downloaded that prior to this class. I was getting excited. Week seven looks like Vanilla JavaScript project, interesting. I know that there's a final project at the end, so that's probably what it's diving into. Week seven, weather forecast overview. Okay, it looks like some more interesting topics. And then we have our final project, which is building a weather app. So you like type in like Portland, Oregon, and it'll show you the weather for the week. That's the whole idea of the big um, work, pro final project for the class. So let's scroll back up here. Um, so it's, it looks pretty intensive, but not like overwhelming, you know, like this doesn't scare me, you know, like a few classes throughout the week when they're between 10 to 15 minutes, like that doesn't scare me too much. Um, so I'm pretty excited and so far it's going pretty well. I just need to not save it till Sunday afternoon to finish. <laughs> but this is kind of what the She Codes Plus looks like. As I mentioned, I'm going to film like the week one, kind of what it was about, what I did, what the final project or what the final homework for the week was and kind of go into depth week by week. I think that will be helpful for some of you out there who are kind of nervous about taking this class. Now I do think this um, is the perfect class to add on to the basics. So if you're new to coding, I would suggest taking um, the basics class. It's three weeks, you get to dabble in computer science this is the best language to start with. I personally started with VBA, which is an Excel coding language, and that was awful. I don't know why I started with this one, that one, but this one, it's pretty. You get to do a little graphic design work. It like, it feels more like an art rather than pure code and like the stereotypical, like I'm grinding code and like math and all that. Like this is a more fun way to learn code. And I would say that honestly, any age group could learn this. It's that, is that simple and easy? I mean, yeah, it's hard because it's coding, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> so that's why I'm taking the second class, um, just because I figured the first class went smoothly. So let's just move on. So I think if you're new to coding, I would start with the basics. And if you liked the basics, I would continue on with the plus and we'll all just be coding together. The goal of this work workshop is I'm trying to build my website and I need to learn how to code in JavaScript, CSS, and HTML, which are all internet languages, by the way. So a JavaScript, HTML, and CSS are what you use to code internet. So anything on the internet, anything that has a web page, all that. Other codes are for other things like Python is mainly for databases, that kind of stuff. So um, start with this kind of code because it's more fun and you get to see your code to like create itself on a web page. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys figure out like whether you want to take this class, whether you think it's worth it. I know I've heard a lot of comments about how come guys can't join. Um, it is geared towards women. I get that. But honestly, nothing is stopping you. It's not like they make you fill out a birth certificate. So I'd say go for it. If you're a dude, like it's still really awesome <laughs> and it's good stuff. So um, I hope this helps and I will see you guys next time.